All right. So image, images, images, creatives uh, for your Facebook ads to find motivated sellers. Um, that's the first thing that people are going to see when they see your ads. So it's important that it stands out. Uh, I'm just going to go over kind of the main points of what I have learned over the last three and a half plus years of doing this, of just what works well uh, to attract motivated sellers. So the first thing is you want your creative to stop them from scrolling, right? Someone's on their phone, they're scrolling through the newsfeed on Facebook. You, it's got to be a scroll stopper. It means it has to stop them from scrolling, get their attention. The next thing, obviously, that they look at is your your headlines, your ad copy. But the first thing is, is the image. The image is uh, the most important part also to monitor for ad fatigue because sometimes uh, you know that's the first thing that's really going to kind of um, uh, burn out in the campaign and you'll need to replace and, and swap. So <clears throat> I'm, as I just kind of scroll through here on Zillow, we can just kind of get some examples of, of photos of homes that I'll kind of talk about like generally, you know, what type of images work well. I, I we, we use just images of houses. Um, we find that, you know, you can do creative things in Canva. Uh, some of my clients will do video as well. Video is great to test as well. And, um, you know, uh, it, it really just depends on the testing. It, it all comes down to that. But as for images specifically, generally what we found is kind of um, brighter images of uh, average to distressed looking homes tend to do tend to do the best. Um, I always try to find, uh, you know, whenever I'm considering an image or something, I always try to look for images that kind of stand out. Um, like for example, this one, uh, just to kind of, again, just use these as an example. This is interesting, right? It's got uh, everything boarded up, um, so that's not bad. The um, uh, what we kind of want to look for, uh, whenever we're looking at you know images, uh, wherever you wherever you source your images from, is we want to try to find ones that like have uh, some good green color in there, because uh, green for whatever reason tends to catch the eye and stand out. Um, so you know that's that's one thing that I kind of look for. Um, generally. Uh, you know, we want the the house to to kind of be front and center. So if it's kind of too hidden, right? Like this one's kind of hidden back in the bushes here. <laughs> like, you know, we, we, whatever whatever image you're using, we want it to kind of stand out. Um, we also don't really want images of really really nice looking houses um, that are well put together. Generally, um, I mean, sometimes it can work. But what I find is that when the house looks too nice, it just doesn't, uh, it tends not to attract uh, the right type of people. Because um, again, we're looking for distressed sellers. We're looking for motivated sellers. We're not necessarily looking for retail sellers. Um, and so the other thing is you want to pay attention to, you don't want your image, like for example, uh, this is a really dark image. You want to make sure your images are not super dark. I'll wait for this to load. Um, what we actually do is we actually brighten up our images and we adjust the colors and the um, the brightness, the contrast, things like that to try to make them pop a little bit more. That's something else that you can do. Um, I generally find that houses that are like, for example, you look at this one, houses that are like super bright colored, like sometimes you have like these really ugly greens or ugly yellows, um, things like that. Generally, those don't perform well. Um, that's what that's what I've found. Like something like this, for example. Uh, see how it's like that kind of ugly green? Like this probably wouldn't do well as an ad. The other thing you want to make sure is, um, you know, the, the images of the houses, if you just use houses for your images, you know, you can create things in Canva, of course, and kind of brand it yourself. Um, that's that's uh, that's something else that you can you can test out. But I, I generally try to recommend like don't don't unless you want mobile homes. Like don't use images of houses that looks like. You know, they, they they are a mobile home or it could be a mobile home because then you're just going to attract that type of person to the ad. Um, and generally, I, I wouldn't use images of houses that are, like, really, really unique. Like, uh, this one, for example, has got this really unique, like, uh, framing here and, and siding on the, you know, with the, with the wood looks like look like that. Uh, that's not common. Obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use something like that. Um, what you do always want to do, though, is make sure that you look at images, um, like when, wherever you're targeting, make sure that your houses kind of look somewhat local to the area. Um, so, you know, for example, if you were looking at houses in like Arizona, um, or if you're looking to get images for a campaign you're running in Arizona, you wouldn't want those images to look like they came from, 
you know, Florida, for instance, um, or, you know, New York or Georgia, right? You'd, you'd want it to look more native to the local area. That's going to resonate more with the people that live there. Sometimes having, like, for example, these kind of signs here, like this one I wouldn't use just because this looks like a mobile home. But sometimes when you have these, like, kind of, like, for sale signs, that can sometimes... Uh, that can sometimes work. We've we've used some images where we put like a little sign there, or there's already a sign in the image that we're using. Um, so that's that's something that you can that you can test out. Um, um, I, I generally try to, to to not you. I generally don't want to use images where there's like vehicles in the image or um, just like a lot of stuff. Like sometimes, uh, like for example, this has got a vehicle there, um, or like. Like, for example, this house is kind of hard to see, right? There's, like, trees in front of it. Uh, we generally prefer that the house is, um, you know, quite visible. And, like, some people I know they'll test out, like, images of the inside of a um, inside of a house, like, to show, like, you know, all the junk in there or something. I, I don't see that work too often. Generally, I, I just think, you know, I think that generally just using images of the house itself is better. Um, I also recommend, you know, stuff like... Um, if the house has some like really like again stuff that's not usual again this is like a mobile home you or looks very much like a mobile home but you wouldn't want to use this but um like it's got this interesting tree design here like stuff like that you i i don't usually recommend using uh in your images you want the houses to look um you know distressed or average but not not like ridiculously unique in any way like, uh, for example, this one here, um, I kind of like, I kind of like this one because it's got, it's boarded up. The lawn is a mess. The roof is kind of a disaster. Uh, it's got a lot of green in it. That's, that's really good. And, um, the only thing I don't like about this image is that a lot of the space here is taken up by this giant gray, um, driveway so if this image was a little more centered where this was more like in the middle i think that that could work really well um yeah because this house is just like trash but but like this is this is what catches people's attention um and uh the the green especially will will, will bring especially if you make it if you get an image editor and you make it pop a little bit with the color that will that will probably work well but you want to you want to test, right? The thing is, like, a, a, an image will will usually you'll be able to tell if the image is working after like a day and a half, generally, depending on how much you're spending on ads. Um, and so you want to you want to test things out. What what we look at is the cost per click, because that's uh, generally shows how well the image is doing. And you want to lower lower cost per click. If your cost per click is really high, that means that not many people are are being attracted to it. Um, and so that'll give you an idea if the image is working, as well as, right, obviously getting leads. If you're not getting any leads from, then you probably just need to switch the image out. Um, you just have to give it enough time to do the testing there. Uh, I've been asked before, like, should we should we um, put wording and, and stuff, you know, logos, words, uh, all that stuff on the images themselves? Sometimes that does work. Sometimes it's fine. Uh, I think it, you know, the color you use, uh, I think we, we try to, if we do that, we try to stick to like yellow background, um, or banners. I've seen that work in the past. I think that Facebook kind of raises their costs for advertising when you start to put too many words on there. So just keep that in mind. Um, and, uh, like what I was going to say here is this, so like, I wouldn't use images of houses that are like kind of these really bright colors for some reason. I mean, you know, if it's, if, if you, if it's an eyesore in, in, you know, just generally, then it's also going to be an eyesore on Facebook. So we don't want it to be an eyesore. We do want it to stand out though. And I think that's why like the, the brighter green colors generally tend to work well. Um, like this could do well if this was maybe, you know, cause this has got an overgrown lawn. You can see it's like the house looks kind of distressed. It's just a little bit small. So, but something like this might work work okay. Um, the thing is, you have to test a lot of different ones. And so what we do is we we basically test these images, and we have like a library of ones that we know work well, and we'll start with those. And then you know, depending on how those perform, we will kind of go through our list of like the top ranked images we have, 
and then we'll branch out to other ones um, that we'll that we'll you know find over time and uh, continue testing. Let's say we're running ads in Seattle, Washington, Washington State. It's the evergreen state. The trees there, mostly pine trees. You would not want to run an image like this <laughs> where there's palm trees, right? That wouldn't make any sense. Um, so just be mindful of what the houses look like. Like in Arizona, they've got like the, the tiled roofs and things like that. Um, you know, like there's just there's houses look a little bit different in certain areas. Okay, like this uh, this image, this could do okay. Uh, again, just be be careful. This one actually I think would be fine. Just be careful of um, you know using images that look too much like mobile homes because you know if you don't want to track that. But something like this, you know, this looks kind of average to distressed. It's got uh, you know a lot of green in it. The house is centered. Um, this uh, this would be something that you could test out. So I hope that that's given you guys some ideas for images. Um, Again, the main points is like make sure it's local to the area, make sure that it has some some green in it and stands out. Make sure that the um, there's you know the the house is not an eyesore in itself. Uh, make sure there's nothing really unique about the house that's that's really odd or strange. Uh, we want to look for average to distressed houses generally. Um, you don't want it to look like it's super nice and and manicured, uh, you know, something like that. That's going to attract more retail. Um, then it will motivate its sellers, in my opinion. And uh, you want to, usually we avoid putting a lot of text on the image. Uh, you can test that out. Sometimes it's fine. It just depends. Um, and, uh, yeah, I generally want to avoid, like, vehicles or just, like, when there's a lot of stuff in the image, make sure there isn't, like, trees and things blocking the house itself. Make sure the image is more, more or less centered and the, the lighting is good. We like to... Um, make the image kind of pop by using just a little bit of editing in terms of brightness, contrast, and uh, saturation in the coloring. Um, sometimes for sale signs can work, sometimes they, they don't. Just be aware that you don't want to attract renters um, or buyers, you know, but uh, sometimes it does it does work. And I would say that um, you're going to need to, to test multiple images usually, you know, um, so uh, you want to try to try to source and find some, uh, like a handful of them to, to go through and test, but give each one a at least some time and, and kind of, you kind of measure that by looking at the cost per click on the image. That's going to tell you how the image is generally doing. So I hope that that's helpful. Um, and, uh, if you guys have any questions or want to get in contact with me about, about this, about Facebook ads for motivated sellers, go ahead and click the, um, the, the link in the description, there should be a link to book a call with me. And I'm happy just to kind of hear, you know, where you're at, how I might be able to help. And uh, if there's anything, uh, any questions that you have, I'm, I'm happy to answer that.